Is there anybody on red team? The ghost. Oh, use, use, use. McDamage, McDamage, use, use, McDamage. <laughs> right, go in, Benny. I got you. All right, you go first. It could have been fatter. Oh, I was about to bomb in, and then three bl brass bees heavies came around the corner. This is surprisingly tame. I would think I'd get shredded. Can they just not aim or something? It kind of looks like Star Wars with the laser beams, too. All those tracers are going away. Okay, McDamage, it's about to be fat. How's it been going? Hit it! We're, we're, we're sniping Benny today. Oh. Why are you playing med as well? Where'd the other one not go? Not fat enough. Hmm, okay. Did you just say not fat enough? Not fat enough. Okay. He demands fatter. Like, uh, like when you have the Asian parents, you know, you get straight A's and they're like, not straight A pluses? The whole team just needs to pocket Benny at this point. Go in, Benny. I have. Hit it. Hit it. Alright, I soften them up. Now I get the crits. Will he bait me? Hit it! Oh, no. <laughs> I could see it coming. You get one too! Was that bad enough? No. How does he survive? Better. <laughs> Fuck it, we go deep. That guy cannot aim. Oh shit, I launched him towards myself. Oh fuck. Okay, I got out of there. McDamage, give me one more chance. I'll make it fat. Hold on, they got a spawn. Oh, uh, we already won. Just hit it. God damn it. Oh, it's fat. I killed all of them. <laughs> Alright, we did it. It was fat from start to end. That was okay. <laughs> Alright, GG's, GG's. The scout's like 20 health. 25. These guys are so like, aggressive. You're bad, right? Don't yeah. die here. Yeah, we saw try to get mid, guys. Yeah, we Fuck. Don't let them bully you. They keep fucking they feeding people. Yeah. The trap worked. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. I'm getting doing. my cat, cat in like, 30 minutes. All right, I gotta go get my cat. So. Get Good your luck. cat. What do you mean? Uh, rescue him. What do you mean? He fucking ran away. Save him. Yeah, he's been missing. I set a trap today, and he uh is what in the, the trap. What the fuck do you mean you set a trap? Wait, he, wait, you set a trap and he's in the trap, but you left him there? No, he just- I just got a phone call in the middle of that scrim that he's in the trap. Oh. In a oh, neighbor's gotcha, yard. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, how do they know- wait, what is this like a random ass <laughs> wait, cat? Wait, how, how did you- Oh, well, I mean, we'll check. Uh, Yo, I- I- YouTube video I, oh, I, I rented yeah. a trap. Yo, Banny, can you play demo? No. Wait, is this gonna be on I mean, I can't enjoy- No, I just gotta- I just gotta go. See ya. Wait. Look who's back, baby. Not just me. But the fucking animal himself. Stop! Fucking animal! Okay, God damn it! Why? Ah. Claws as sharp as ever. He's lost a bit of weight. But... He's still a cute little kitty.
still causing all kinds of trouble. His return was a bit uh, unexpected, I guess. But it's a good surprise. It's nice. It's quite a relief, you know, that he's uh, safe and back. I honestly wasn't sure if I would see him again. How's he behaving? He's fine. You know, it seemed like he settled in really quickly. I brought him in. He jumped up on a ledge at first, and then I just petted him a bit. Then, you know, started wandering around and rubbing up against things. Now he's just laying on the bed, grooming himself, not acting scared or anything. He was meowing a lot, but otherwise, you know, just back to normal, I guess. As if he never, uh, as if he never went away. It's kind of crazy. I'm just hoping he remembers how to use a litter box. That's my number one worry right now. Did I inform it was inconvenient for him to escape? He should be more considerate and respectful. It's not his fault, alright? I... I... Didn't think he could do what he did. He used to have that closet thing there, and it was right up against the window. So there was like a tiny crack, and then the window was slightly open, which was another tiny crack. He got through two tiny cracks. And then he went on one hell of an adventure. Where he ended up, I was kind of shocked. It's like at the top of this big hill in my neighborhood. But he ended up in the... He found the absolute most perfect yard to go into, honestly. So lucky. Because the people that he uh, was... The home that he was hanging around... Just the people that lived there were so, uh, you know, willing to help and considerate and flexible, you know, cooperative, etc. Everything like that. Uh, we got pretty lucky. And I was offering a, a reward and they declined to accept the reward. They were just nice people. First time I ever met them and everything. Within just a few days of knowing them, boom, cat's back. So they were uh, very helpful, very thankful for that. And now he will never, never be allowed to do what he did ever again. No more, no more risks or assumptions. Though I will admit there was a point in time, you know, I thought about, you know, maybe he was gone. And, uh... Time for me to uh, make some changes, but you don't have to worry about that anymore. Is he a companion or a prisoner? <laughs> you know, that's the gray area in which we we coexist. But basically, what we did was, uh, at first, we just put out some cat food. You know, I brought over some canned food, fancy feast. You know has a strong aroma, you know, so it attracts cats. And after a couple days of doing that, and him repeatedly, like, evading us, today I went to a, a pet store in town, and I rented a cat trap. Or an animal trap, you know, you could catch anything with it, a skunk or a possum or a small child. But this time, used for a cat. He, I set the trap just before I uh, started scrimming and put a towel on top of it, you know, because I was advised by the lady at the pet store that cats are incredibly intelligent and they can identify traps. A useful skill in today's day and age, some would say. But um, he, uh, so I covered it with a towel and set some, uh, some food in there. It's just a simple like cage. You touch one part of it, and then the door closes on the back. You know what I mean? So, uh, he fell for it. Within 30 minutes of me setting the trap, he was already in there. That's why I got that phone call in the middle of my last stream. Um, he was saying, hey, cat's in the box. Come get him. And I was like, yeah, but I, 
I'm playing video games, so I went after scrims ended. Um, and now he's back. I got him. I was I was a bit nervous at first because, you know, like I said, there was a towel over it. It it could have been anything in the box when I pulled off the towel, but it was him. Just as planned. Everything went perfectly according to plan. I was I was so happy. Those traps, man, they're effective. So, I would highly recommend. I, I should have done it from day one, honestly. I'm glad I thought of it. Or whatever. Was willing to do it. 